All right, so today we're doing a football, aerodynamics of football. I got really excited knowing that um, Tom Brady's coming back to the league, his baby blue eyes is joining him. So everyone's really excited about that. So this is the football. And the first up, this football is traveling at um, a typical velocity and it's got a 600 RPM spin and then like a right-hander uh, right hand with a throw. And this shows the pressure distribution over the football. And it's somewhat what you'd expect, like at the front you have high pressure because of the flow going in and um, stagnating a little bit. So the dynamic pressure is being converted into um, that pressure there. Then you have over the ball, the flow is accelerating a little bit. So you have this low pressure and then it decelerates and forms this um, high pressure at the end. I also wanted to see what the streamlines around the ball were doing and also was interested in the vorticity. So the color on the ball is the vorticity. It ranges from, um, can you see that? There we go. It ranges from uh, the blue to the red. And this is the legend on the side here. So the streamlines show the velocity and we have a video of it going around. So we see with the, where the vorticity is being developed over the ball and also how the flow is moving over the ball in the streamlines. And you can see it is pretty um, streamlined. Like all these streamlines are following a similar sort of path. They're staying nice and tight on the ball. One thing to note is this top part here. Now that top part, that's the flow that's gone over the laces of the ball. And as I mentioned that the flow, the ball is rotating um, in this view here, is rotating clockwise because it's as if a right hand is throwing it at 600 RPM. And you can see that on the right, the flow is asymmetric to the left. So that means, and that's because of the, the spin. So these streamlines are coming down a little bit more. And the vorticity being produced over the ball is pretty cool too. It's mainly around the seams, which is what you'd expect. I wanted to look at just the, the seams, uh, just the laces, sorry. So in that last video, this is the streamlines going over the entire ball. Now I wanted to look at the laces, what's happening to the, the streamlines. And it's pretty well behaved. Like you don't see too much chaotic motion of these streamlines over the laces. And the flow mostly follows the contour of the ball even down. You do get that bit of wake there, which is, um, I guess, from the, the back of the laces there. But it's not bad. And the football actually has a drag coefficient of 0 0.08, which is really good. And it's not that difficult to tell why, because it is fairly streamlined, both uh, the front and the back. So there isn't too much of a reason why uh, the flow would separate other than over the, over the laces. And the ball is quite smooth. You only have a few seams. And this is the U velocity. Um, oh, sorry, the, the, the velocity magnitude in the uh, X plane and it's going to go through the ball. So this is upstream and it's going to go downstream. So we can see how the velocity over the ball develops. And right now it's starting to accelerate a little bit as you'd expect going over the ball. But then the laces, you can see that there's quite a bit of slower flow there. And just as we get to the back of the ball, you see that that flow was this wake here is pretty much all from the laces. The laces are dramatically increasing the wake. And here, like this top half is effectively just from the laces, whereas the bottom half is from the rest of the ball. So the, the laces make up a huge part of the weight. If you were to get rid of those, I mean, you wouldn't be able to throw the ball as well, but it would be, it would have a lot lower drag coefficient. This is the ball from the side and the plane is going through and you can see the, um, new magnitude with the pressure distribution over the ball. And the reason why I wanted to look at this was because you can see this weight coming from these laces as we go over the ball, you can see how much that flow, um, that weight really does grow. And you can see how asymmetric the flow is in this axis where if you draw a line through the ball, the weight in the top half is way larger than the weight in the bottom half. So these laces are really changing the flow dramatically. All right, so that's it. Make sure to check out the International Aerodynamics Conference, link in the description. Uh, it takes place in October. Check out the Atmosphere Hawk. It'll make all your experiments better and make you love aerodynamics even more. Peace out. <laughs>